Okay, we gotta look at Texas real estate because people keep saying Texas real estate the best. If you buy some Texas real estate, you're making a bunch of money and they are right, okay? Redfin data, Texas real estate, a lot of single family homes is what we're gonna be looking at. So back in January of 2020, prices were at roughly a quarter million dollars and you can even bargain and it's during the pandemic. If they're offering quarter million, you can say, hey, give me a $20,000 reduction and they'll take it, especially with low interest rates, all that different stuff. Essentially, you got people almost flipping the price of their homes. Some people who got it at really, really good prices or got it for closure. You know, if you bought it during the pandemic, you sold it at the peak, some people made almost 100% just by flipping a house in the course of two to three years. Not only that, the rental market was really good. Now the party has stopped. So after peaking at about $380,000 per home, now it's at around $340,000. So prices of a lot of these Texas homes are down, medium days on the market's increasing, and not a lot of people buying homes. I wonder why. Interest rates for the 30 year mortgage is already well over 7%. Okay, it is so expensive right now to get a home. It's not because of the price, it's because of the high interest rates. If the 30 year mortgage wasn't 7%, it was like maybe like 5%, I guarantee you so many people will be buying homes right now. But because of higher interest rates, a lot of people don't really wanna buy homes. And if you check this out, you see a lot of these homes are dropping here. Now, I'm not saying like every neighborhood in Texas is dropping. I'm just saying some of the bigger cities are dropping. If you live in like a nice, you know, lower population, suburban like Texas city, some of those places home prices are very, very steady and very, very good. Now, a place like Austin, you know, got Dallas and even like Houston, a lot of these real estate prices are dropping like a rock. In fact, with not a lot of people buying homes and higher interest rates, a lot of builders are refusing to build, okay? It seems like a lot of these builders just simply want to get these homes off of their hands. Because remember, these builders, when they build these homes, they're not gonna be just using their own cash. These companies are taking out massive loans from the bank and every single month, they gotta pay huge amounts of interest, which some of these guys started building these massive communities. Some of these are townhouses, single family homes, even condos back in 2020, 2021, during the peak of the housing boom. Now, they're not really seeing that many people wanting to buy homes. And with interest rates this high, they can't hold on to these homes long term because if they hold on to these homes long term, the amount of money that got paid to the bank, this interest is extremely high. And Powell is gonna continue hiking at rates and even rumors of a massive 0.5% rate hike. So now the amount of permits being issued to make homes have dropped a ton, okay? Home builders have started a lot less building projects. And even with a lot less building projects, prices are decreasing. That is not good at all. And of course, we got this remote working stuff. Now remember, you know, probably a fourth of US workers will start working remote in the next couple years to 2025. That means a lot of these tech guys are working remote. So when you're working remote, you don't have to live in expensive Austin or Dallas. You go work at some of the smaller cities around it. And this is why a lot of these workers are kind of leaving these expensive places and going somewhere cheaper. Now remember, you know, Texas, California, New York, they're all dropping a lot. And of course, famous cities like Seattle and Chicago are dropping. Of course, you also have like very nice cities like Miami. Those guys are going up in price. You also have very smaller cities over there in like Tennessee, Ohio area. Those are extremely popular, very, very popular homes, you know, 300,000, 400,000, new construction. You know, not every city in the US is dropping, but some of the very popular cities during the pandemic, like Texas, they are finally dropping here. So if you live in Texas and you want a home, I say this, wait a few more months, you know, try to get as much cash as you can because you don't really want to take out a massive loan. And obviously be careful because if they start cutting rates next year, home prices will eventually crawl back up. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you later.